Hi students, let us solve now the uh, next exercise that is about rotation, about a fixed axis. Uh, in this case, they say that an object whose moment of inertia is 4 uh, kilograms meter square is rotating with angular velocity of 0 0.25 radians per second. Then uh, it's going to experience a torque. So the graph of the torque is given below and then uh, we need to find what is the object's angular velocity at time equals uh, 3 seconds so uh, we need to find you know what is the angular velocity of the object after 3 seconds you know uh, once the torque was uh, applied so uh, what we know in this case well we know the moment of inertia of the body which is uh, 4.0 kilograms uh, meter square and we know the initial angular velocity we know the initial angular velocity right so uh, this initial angular velocity is 0 0.25 radians per second now we want to find what is the final angular velocity right what is the final angular velocity uh, in this case angular velocity final at uh, t equals uh, 3 uh, seconds so this is what is unknown all right so well <clears throat> what do we know in this case we know that the torque is equals to the uh, moment of inertia times the angular acceleration of a body that is in rotation they're rotating about a fixed axis right now we know that this angular acceleration is equals to d omega uh, dt so is the variation in angular velocity with respect to the time right so uh, what are we going to do now we're going to multiply by dt both sides so we get that the torque times dt is equal to the uh, moment of inertia times uh, dw right now we're going to integrate so if we integrate we're gonna have that the uh, integral of uh, the torque uh, dt would be equal to uh, the moment of inertia times the integral of d omega right so we have now that the uh, torque the integral of the torque uh, dt will be equals to um, i times the moment of inertia times omega right so the product of the uh, moment of inertia times uh, omega is equal to the integral of the torque dt so it's equal in this case to the area under the graph of torque versus time right is equal to the area under the graph of torque versus time well what we need to do now we're going to find this area okay uh, from 0 to 3 seconds right the area under the graph and uh, that is going to be equal to the product of the moment of inertia times omega so this area under the graph is going to be the area of a triangle so it's going to be 1 over 2 this side of the triangle is 2 seconds this other side of the triangle is 2 newtons middle right so we have here uh, 2 uh, newtons middle times right uh, 2 seconds all this equal to the moment of inertia that we know that is equal to 4.0 kilograms meter square right times omega so uh, this omega would be the angular velocity right that the body is going to gain due to the action of the torque so the value that we're gonna find for omega here must be added to the initial angular velocity to find the angular velocity at t equals 3 seconds right so uh, 
this we know there is going to be uh, in this case when you uh, calculate here you have Newton middle uh, is going to be 2 because you divide by 2 so 2 newtons middle uh, second right divided by uh, in this case we have 4 kilograms uh, middle square and this is going to be equal to omega so let me explain what happened with the units here so we have newtons middle second uh, newtons is kilograms middle over second square so times middles times second divided by kilograms middle square which are the units of the moment of inertia so we're going to cancel out these kilograms right uh, now middles times middles is going to be a uh, middle square and this middle square are going to cancel with those other middle squares right and then we have also uh, these seconds here that are going to be canceled with one of the seconds that we have below here so at the ends what we get is just uh, one over seconds right which is just basically radians per second so the unix nulls are just in radians per second so you get that omega here is uh, 0 0.5 radians per second now this omega is the angular velocity you know that the uh, object just uh, gain due to the action of the torque right uh, that is represented you know in the graph of torque versus time but that body had already an initial angular velocity so we know that the uh, final angular velocity right that is the angular velocity uh, at three seconds is equal to the initial angular velocity plus I will say or I will call this angular velocity that we found the angular velocity due to the action of the torque right so uh, the final angular velocity would be uh, 0 0.5 well see the initial was 0 0.25 uh, radians per second let us just complete this calculation above here because we don't have enough space there so we can say that this uh, final angular velocity is the initial 0 0.25 radians per second plus 0 0.5 radian per second so the final angular velocity would be 0 0.75 radians per second so what is the obvious angular velocity at t equals uh, 3 seconds uh, the angular velocity at t equals 3 seconds would be 0 0.75 radians per second so don't forget that we had an initial angular velocity of 0 0.25 that had to be added with the angular velocity due to the action of the torque well I hope this uh, exercise was interesting for you and please support my uh, channel by subscribing to it thank you so much for your attention